That's perfect. That's perfect. I'm trying not to tear myself. All right, today we're checking out The Warning Revenant, which is the 12th song off of The Warning's third album, Air, which showcases Powell's vocals more specifically in this song, and it really shows how LA on bass really holds down everything as the rhythm section, keeping that steady beat for everybody to follow. You have these beautiful haunting harmonies that are in this song, and the vocals are just great. They've always been good. It's one of my favorite things about this band. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the mixing nuances as you hear in the song that make this even better or elevate it even more. So in the beginning of this song, we have some really cool mixing sound effects that we got going on to kind of add to the ambience of the song. And it starts out right in the beginning. You have this like static sounding fireplace feel, I guess you could say. And now this is a really subtle effect. You can hear that like crackling in and out. Now it almost sounds like a desk chair or something, but like with the acoustic, it sounds like almost like embers crackling a little bit. And then when you add the guitar in there, they have a little bit of it compressed alongside with the guitars that make it sound really cool. It's like an outside ambience. It's like an outside in the air kind of thing. And that's really cool because it doesn't make it feel like it's a studio recording, even though it's a studio recording, if that makes any sense. And then right there, they dial it back a little bit. They start taking it away as the melody picks up on guitar, which is really a cool little melody. So I really like this because they scrape against these two notes here in the beginning. And I love that little walk up in the beginning. And it sets up the vocals perfectly because right after that, you get this melody coming in. She reinforces this later on in the song, Pow does. And I noticed with the warning, they really love that phrasing in a lot of the vocals. There's some other songs that have some similar phrasing. But this song is so unique because it's in this acoustic setting. See, and her vocals are just so haunting right there. It's like the perfect amount of reverb. You have the sound effects picking up a little bit more in the tracks that just add more to it. And then you have the slide guitar coming in. There's this like Western vibe going on. It just sounds really cool that way that's mixed all together. Now, one of the things that I really like is when the bass comes in to kind of give you this more solid rhythmic section, you get these harmonies that sound really good. And they're like subtly in the back. It's about him that they hunt you down, boy. You got a little bit of higher harmonies going there. Let's hear that again. That's so cool sounding. Now there's a couple ways you could do that. You could have an affected vocal track by itself where you have like this really cool chorusy kind of thing going on as an extra layer of vocals or you'll put something where you have multiple tracks of vocals and one will be a little bit more dry and another one will be more saturated and effects going on. And she's hitting a pretty low note. Now, I'm pretty sure that's Danny there on those lower notes in the vocal sections. And another place where the vocals really shine in this song is right over here. Water, find me, to blame. Find me. That is so catchy. That it just gets stuck in your head. I love that lyric, uh, uh, melody without a song. Like, it kind of reminds me of when you're writing vocals on your own and you have the melodies and then you put the guitars around it afterwards. That's what immediately came to me, not saying that's what she's singing about, but that's what kind of came into my mind when she said those lines. Song, show me so we have this jump here. And if you notice, those little high jumps that she's doing, she 
does them different every time. So in the beginning, it's a higher pitch, and then she stops putting a lot of force on it. So she's putting more force in the beginning, putting less force later on if it's dying out with the vocals, which makes it very dynamic and very good. I love hearing that where they change that up. So she's choosing how much pressure she's pushing with her diaphragm to hit those notes, which I think it sounds really cool. It makes the song sound great. Let's go ahead and listen to the bass again a little bit more because I do like what Ale is doing on bass here and how she's holding down the rhythm while adding in those little bits of slides here and there. This is all about the song as a whole. They're doing what's needed to keep it nice and glued together. It's perfectly done. Like, I can't even imagine what else to add to this. I feel like if you try to add anything else to this, it would not work. It's just, it's well thought out, well crafted together, and it's just done right. Now, later on, you have this bridge section, and you have this exploding drum sound. It just breaks it up, breaks down the song before we end it off with the chorus. <laughs> That's such a cool transition, and as you can hear, she's changing up that main chorus line, a melody without a song. She's not singing it the same way at all. It's different almost every time. So you can tell this is not just some cut and paste where she sings the vocal line and then they just re-put it on. In my opinion, what I'm hearing from this song, she did those takes, every single take she did them. It feels more organic because there's little nuances that are different on every chorus. It's not exactly the same, and it's not the exact same phrasing. It's always different phrasing every time she goes back to that one little catchy line but every time she does it it's catchy what has been done you can't forgive you can't move on but we cannot escape the now let's hear those lower vocals this sounds so cool i like that layer of vocals. i really like that it's so cool sounding you had the Oh, it's just a beautiful song. Now, you have some like synths going on right there. Probably some sound pads, maybe uh, some MIDI keyed in sounds right there. So beautiful hear how her voice is shaking it's like broken at that point i can feel the emotion in her voice right there like the ah you can hear it. it's like heart-wrenching find me someone to blame find me somewhere to aim and i don't know right or wrong a melody without a song see what i mean guys different again on the surface this could seem like something simple but it's there's it's a lot more complex than you would think singing with emotion and feeling is very hard to do it's very hard to do that with without letting too much emotions come in and it sounds like she has a lot of emotion coming in and it can be a little tough to stop yourself from breaking down in the middle of the song it's very easy to do what if you're pouring your heart and soul into the vocals it can happen where you just you just break down and tear up I wonder if she did for this song. Let's hear that again. Find me someone to blame. Find me somewhere to aim. And I don't know right or wrong. A melody without a song. It's so good. I don't even know what else to say. That it's just that's perfect. That's per I'm trying not to tear it myself. The way that she elicits the emotions right there is flawless. And shout out to Pal for like getting this done as the lead vocalist something that she doesn't normally do and that's really cool and you can see how extensively talented these girls are the thing is they're just gonna get better <laughs> they're gonna get better from here they're still super young and if they keep working at it they're gonna be phenomenal they're already amazing they're just gonna it's gonna step up what you're gonna hear develop with this band is the ability to write even more complex songs and add more intricacies, you know? You already can hear it in the vocals. There's a lot of nuances in there, but it feels natural. Not only are they talented, you can tell they're putting in a lot of hard work into those vocals, because they sound 
quite amazing. Music's good too, but the music's gonna get better. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like breakdown videos and things like this, consider hitting the subscribe button. See you.